Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, sent a cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa. His Royal Highness expressed appreciation for the cable sent by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, in which he congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the success of the 2017 Government Forum. The forum witnessed the participation of senior government officials and affirms the significant status of the Kingdom, thanks to the Government Action Programme and the keenness to continue exerting efforts in order to benefit the country and its people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to achieve further progress and prosperity in the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a written letter from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The letter was delivered to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince by the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Dr Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Al Sheikh, during a meeting in Gadebia Palace today that was also attended by Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa and Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. The Saudi Ambassador conveyed the greetings of the custodian of the two holy mosques and wishes for Bahrain further prosperity and progress. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the Bahraini Saudi historic relations which keep growing in light of the support provided by the two kingdoms leaderships. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting. The cabinet congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa for the success of the 2017 Government Forum that was held under his patronage. They affirmed that the forum is considered a motivation for all government bodies to achieve the strategic goals and complete the government action plan. The Cabinet congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the success of the Bahrain International Defence Conference and Exhibition 2017 and expressed thanks and appreciation for all the countries that participated in the event. The Cabinet praised the success which highlights the status of the Kingdom and at international level and the keenness to achieve security, stability and combat terrorism. The Cabinet hailed the efforts of all members of the Higher Organising Committee. The Cabinet approved a draft decree from the establishment and organisation of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority and the appointment of a Chief Executive for the institution in order to develop the real estate sector in the Kingdom and enhancement of the investment environment in accordance with the provisions of the Real Estate Regulatory Law. The Cabinet also directed to hold four workshops to develop the Government's mechanisms and identify its priorities that constitute the aspirations of the governmental work programmes for the next legislative chapter. The Cabinet approved a request to acquire seven properties in Maharak Governorate, submitted by the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, for the purpose of public benefit, namely to establish parking lots in Maharak and Bursatine, as well as the development of N. Araya Park in Maharak. The Council approved the sign of strategic partnership framework agreement between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Nations for the aim of enhancing cooperation between the Government of Bahrain and the United Nations bodies and authorities in line with the Bahrain 2030 vision and the United Nations goals for sustainable development. A draft proposal on permits issued by the Environment Agency and a service that provides on hazardous waste has been approved with the aim of protecting the environment in accordance with the followed laws and procedures. The Cabinet approved the decision of the GCC Standing Committee of Anti-Dumping to impose taxes on some imported products to protect Gulf and national industries and products as well as to promote competitiveness and anti-dumping GCC markets as applied by GCC countries. The Cabinet approved the contribution of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Islamic Development Bank's capital fifth increase and the general increase in the capital of the Islamic Corporation for the development of the private sector. This contribution is in line with the bank's previous contributions to the financing of Bahrain's infrastructure and private sector development projects. 
the Cabinet approved a decision to reconstitute the National Committee on the Development Prohibition, Production and Stockpiling and the use of chemical weapons and their destruction, thereby enhancing the rule and implementation of the conventions and treaties, in addition to serving as part of the contract with relevant international organisations. The Cabinet approved a draft law amending certain provisions of the law on combating smoking and tobacco of all kinds, submitted by the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Tourism, in line with the WHO Framework Convention. The Cabinet referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs a draft agreement on air services between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Government of the United Arab Emirates. The agreement aims for national and international requirements recommended by the Civil Aviation Organisation. The Cabinet referred to the Legislative Authority a draft law on the protection of national handicraft products, which was drafted in light of a draft law, submitted by the Council of Representatives and accompanied by a memorandum of opinion from the Government. The Cabinet reviewed a report on the International Ministerial Monitoring of Youth Sports Ministers and the 13th World Festival of Youth and Students held in Moscow. The Cabinet welcomed the inauguration of the Joint Study Iraqi Coordinating Council as it opens new horizons of cooperation in various fields, which will be relatively reflected both in the bilateral and regional level, as well as the Joint Arab Action. The Cabinet strongly condemned the terrorist attack against the Egyptian security forces in the Wahad area of Giza government. The Cabinet expressed sincere condolences to the victims' families and to the Arab Republic of Egypt and its people, wishing them a wounded a speedy recovery. The Cabinet affirmed Bahrain's firm stance with Egypt in facing terrorism and support of all measures taken to preserve its security and stability. And on the occasion of the United Nations Day, the Cabinet reiterated the Kingdom's keenness to support the efforts of the United Nations and cooperate with its bodies that agencies for aim for prevailing of peace. The Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training, Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, received today at his office in Qadabia Palace, Education Minister Dr Majid bin Ali Al Nuaymi, who presented to the Deputy Premier the members of the administrative body of Aliman School, which won the Arab Reading Challenge of the Vice President and Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The Minister also presented the students that qualified for the challenge from both public and private schools in the Kingdom. The Deputy Prime Minister congratulated the members of the Al Iman's administrative body and the participating students, adding that the achievement reflects the level of education in Bahrain. He commended the school's keenness on participating in the challenge as well as the organisation of a number of activities that encouraged the reading. He called on public and private schools to promote such practices. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak presented commemorative gifts to the students that qualified for the finals, wishing them success. For their part, the students expressed thanks and appreciation for the Deputy Pre Premier's intuitive and reflexive support for all their achievements of educational institutions and students. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,287.68 points, marking an increase of 3.77 points 
above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 55% of total shares. 103 transactions included 2,210,061 shares, or 396,414 Bahraini dinars. More than $200 million worth, worth of investment into Bahrain's manufacturing and logistics sector was attracted in the first half of this year. The EDB said the investments are expected to create approximately 1,000 jobs over the next three years. The growth follows a substantial increase in the number of international businesses looking to use Bahrain as a hub to uh, access and seize the regional opportunities offered in the GCC market and beyond. Temkin has recently launched its Muhasaba scheme as a business development support program in accounting and auditing services for startups, scale up, and mature enterprises. It aims to ensure the implementation of an effective support program that meets the accurate needs of business activities towards sustainability that ultimately contributes to the growth of national economy as part of the new scheme. Enterprises will be given the freedom to choose their accounting and auditing services from any local audit firm, maximizing the value of this support on the performance level of their businesses.